Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sarah Star, and I wanted to show you. I'm going to go over to this, this um, thrift store they have right here. Um, it's really fun, and um, so I'm going to go see if I can find any goodies. I'm like an hour and a half from my home right now. Um, we're visiting some family, so um, I wanted to go check out this Goodwill. I've been here before. It's not Goodwill. It's like a thrift store. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to go see. I've been there before, and I've gotten a couple things, but um, yeah, um, so I will be back with a haul later if I find anything which I hope I do so I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Saturday so yeah oh and by the way the weather is kind of cooler up here I'm uh, like I said about an hour hour and a half from home so yeah all right these cars need to go a little bit slower <laughs> they're about to cross that road yeah that's the only thing I don't like about this is having to cross that road <laughs> all right guys um, I'll see you soon Okay guys, so this is inside this um, store. There's two departments or areas, so it's kind of like a lot of stuff <laughs> put in here. But um, you know, that's the fun part, right? Trying to find treasures. So I'm um, just looking around here, seeing anything that I have to have. Some lamps. Let's see, back here is more lamps. Let's see, and there's toys back here. I've been here before. It's cold in here. Super cold. That's cute. Little trinket box. Oh, and I love these little dolls. I remember my grandma had one of these. It's really sweet. Okay, let's see what else. Cars, toys. I'm gonna have to get some of these toys. These are fun, look at this. How fun, it's like a box. That's a cool box. Farm animals. Oh, is this a transformer? I think so. My daughter loves Transformers. Okay, I'm gonna have to get some of this stuff. Oh, look at um, Bob the Builder, the Bob the Builder pinata. How fun! The clown pinata. Lots of books. Books are fifty to a dollar. Okay. This, this place has got so much stuff. Super fun. How fun is that? It's like a, a car or something. Glasses, somebody's glasses. Okay. There's so much to look at, you guys. Like, I don't know where to start. That's cute. They have hats on there. Hey guys, I see you in the mirror there. Um, and then they have games back here. Now, what is this? Is this like a dollhouse or a shadow box? Wow, well, how cute. It's got like a door. How fun. It actually lights up, I think. That is so cute. What a cute idea. Look at that, you guys. Oh, I might have to see how much that is. Okay, lots of stuff. Is this those clowns that you pull? No, it doesn't pull. Look at that painting, that's cool too. This painting, is that an oil painting? No, it's, I think it's a picture. Let me see. Hmm. Lots of stuff. Oh, is this another dollhouse? Look at this. How cute is that? Chandelier. Oh, that's so cute. What is this? Folk art? What is this? It's a puzzle. Okay. I like this thing, but let's see. That's so cool. What a cool idea. 
wonder if this actually works. Hmm. I love that idea. That is so cute. That was really neat. Okay, guys, I'm going to look around some more here. See if I can find anything. All right, guys, so I found this pumpkin. I'm going to see how much that is and see if he lights up. I mean, like the electronics room, this is pretty cool. Lots of DVDs back there, VHSs, and it is so cold in these rooms. It's like probably, it feels like I'm in a refrigerator right now. This is a solar lantern. How cool is that? Is it? It's missing. What is this? Piano music. What is this? Folk art sampler. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's from 1978. I don't know what it is though. Oh, it just shows some um, pictures of old art. That's really cool. That's cool. Okay, I'm gonna see how much this guy is. You guys look at this lampshade, how cute is that? That is so cute. Love that. Okay. I gotta see how much that is. I wanna show you guys, they have these like glass in them on the other side of the store. And um, there's like just some really cool like little glasses. Lots of stuff. Pretty vases. You can make a doll, it looks like. Doll kit. A bunny rabbit. More books. That's cute. Okay, I'm going to go in here now. So here's the pictures that I love. Like, looking at pictures like these are frames. But see this? It always makes me sad when people leave their family photos in there. My mom and dad have a frame like this with um, my grandpa picture of my grandpa in there. Just looks like, you know, the same frame and everything. Well, similar. Makes me sad when I see like heirlooms left behind like that. Like, even this. Wow, that looks old too. Hmm. I wonder who he is. That's cute. Cat on a couch. Got a or a dog. Sorry, that's a dog. So cute. Oh, let's see if that works. It's cute. I always love ducks like these or geese. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at these shoes. These are pretty. I like him for my beach theme bathroom. It's cute. Okay. Okay. 
You guys look at the gloves in there. I'm going to see how much those are. Those, you know, I love to wear gloves. I want to show you guys. This is the, for foreign travel, it's a European, like you convert foreign electric <laughs> current down the U.S. current for use with your appliance overseas. So I had no idea the European plugs look like this. It's This is such a cool set. Really cool. I think it's an antique, but I'm not sure. See that? Where's the lid? Hey guys, look at this piece I found. This is really neat, huh? I love this. I have really cool stuff here. And this Tom Selleck frame is like cracking me up. <laughs> you push the button. And it needs a battery. <laughs> but this is so pretty. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sarah Starr. Thank you so much for being here. And I have the thrift store haul to show you. I want to show you what I picked. Up, ended up going or bought today. And um, I'm just so excited with my finds. And so I have it all laid out here. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video of the tour of this thrift store. I really like this thrift store because it uh, it was jam-packed with with a lot of stuff, which is awesome. And then um, there wasn't a lot of people there, so um, it was just easier so that I could take video. Um, it was just easier because I think there was like maybe a total of two people I saw the whole time. I, no, maybe three people besides the workers there uh, that I saw walking around the store. So it's a bit slower traffic there. So yeah, so, but I love this place. And I, I get up there to that thrift store about three times a year. So anyway, let's get started with my haul. So the first thing I have is I'm wearing, I got these gloves. So I have it, I have it in the video. Sorry, that, that was the uh, door opening that, that ding, uh, that sound you just heard. Okay. So the first thing I got was these gloves and yeah, so I have them in the video and look at how beautiful these are. I want to show you close, close up and um, they were $2. They're so pretty and they really, I feel like these had to have been, I could totally be wrong, but I feel like these came from like the forties because the pearls, like I don't see anything like that anymore made like that anymore. Um, you know, the, the detail like that. And just this knit, like I just, I don't see anything like this anymore. Uh, so I really, these feel like, and look like they're they're actually vintage gloves. So yeah, they're only $2. So I'm super excited about it. I'm trying to see if the light is like, you know, I'm um, letting you see the, the little, the detail in them. And they're so comfortable. So, okay. The next thing I got was this beautiful, beautiful, um, I don't, it's kind of like a sculpture and it's kind of like a, what do I want to call this? Like a bowl? <laughs> like a, anyway, I fell in love with it because I love the color and I love that it has like this lace kind of like, it looks like lace almost and I'll zoom in and I'll let you see how beautiful it is. It's just so pretty. Just caught my eye immediately. And it has no markings underneath, so I really don't know how old this is. I wish it could talk and I wish it could tell me. But um, there's no no hint to what, who made this or anything like that. So, but it's very, it's heavy and it's very well made, very well made. I just love the contrast of like the clear, like um, edges and then, you know, just looks like like lace, like just, it's just so pretty. Anyway, my thought is, um, I just, you know, did that Goodwill haul where I got the soap yesterday, the rose petal soaps, and I'm gonna put them all in here. So it's gonna be like all roses in here. It's gonna be so pretty. I thought that would just be like the perfect touch what this needed, you know? So I'm really excited about that. I don't know if this is a vintage piece or not, but I kind of have a feeling it is. So anyway, I like I said, I keep looking at it and I don't see any, markers that tell me anything so yeah i wish it could tell me yeah i don't see anything all right so that was five dollars i don't know if i said the price the next thing i got was this um it's a kind of like a server set like a tea set um you know it's got the coffee or the creamer and sugar 
and it's so pretty. I had to get this. Doesn't this look like it uh, would belong like in a castle or back in the Victorian era? So, you know, I don't know how old this is, but I do know, like, I just love every little detail on this. Like, just, I mean, it's just so pretty. Yeah, it, it's very tarnished. Um, I do need to, like, give it some TLC for sure. But this whole thing cost me $5, and that includes the tray. So I had to get it. I just had to. So uh, this is the first piece, and it's got the little um, spout to, you know, pour. Now, I'm not going to use this for, you know, serving coffee or, um, you know, anything like that. It's going to be just like a display piece, but it is made by Leonard uh, Silver Plate. So I noticed that when I was there shopping. And I'm like, um, this has got to be worth money. So I looked online, and it does sell, this stuff does sell uh, f for more than what I paid, which is exciting. So, yeah, I feel like I got a good deal on it. And it's just like the, these legs on this piece even, it's just so detail-oriented. It's just like I don't see stuff made like this anymore, you know? Um, so anyway, and then here's the, uh, like, sugar set, sugar, um, you know, pot that you would put it in just so pretty anyway I just love it and then here is a little close-up of the detail on the tray itself so there it is and then there's the back so it says also back here silver plate Leonard so anyway I thought that was an exciting find so five dollars for the whole thing the whole kit and caboodle then the next thing I got was this Easter bunny set um, or Easter display or uh, decorations Okay, so they were, uh, they were only a dollar each. Um, with this thrift store, um, you each item is not priced, so you have to go up to the register, and then they tell you what, like they think of the price that they want to make it. Um, nothing has a price tag. So he, he um, priced these for me at $1 each, which I thought was a very fair, uh, cool deal. So I was really excited about that. Um, and... This was, so like I said, it was $1, and it says eggs on it. And I've been wanting, like, more Easter decorations. It's totally dusty, needs some, like, some love, but it to it's, it's not broken. It's not chipped. It's in perfect condition, really. It even has glitter on the basket. And you see how she's coming out of the basket, the bunny? It's so cute. So whimsical. Then I got the teapot, and it says carrots on it. I mean, these things are heavy. Uh, and like it's just this one has glitter on it as well and it's just so pretty and she's sticking her head out of the teapot I love these it's like if they these are telling a story you know I love it and then the last one I got to complete the set was this one I think this one's my favorite and it says flowers and her head is sticking out of the um, teapot it's like she lives in there it's so cute so anyway I love these and um, they just they are very, have a lot of character to them. And then there's the roses, because I love roses, so I think this is my favorite one. But it was only a dollar for each of them, so three dollars total. thought that was a great, great buy. I'm not sure if the camera is seen down here um, that far away. Maybe I should back these up a little bit more. Okay, then the last thing I got was I picked up the toys too, little little uh, little toys for my kids, and that um, I got. Let's see, I think four toys. They're like tiny little ones for my kids for a dollar, four or five for a dollar. They gave those to me. Then this I fell in love with. So that is my haul, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. And um, like I said, I had a lot of fun shopping at this thrift store. I really do. I, I I've been there. I think this year maybe twice. I don't get up there very often. It's about an hour and a half from where I live. Um, but it's a fun place to shop for sure. So anyway, that's it for my haul for the uh, thrift store. I want to say Goodwill, but it's not a Goodwill. It's a thrift store. So with that being said, have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys really soon. Till next time, talk to you later. Take care everybody. Bye.